Senator Clinton, in all fairness, I've asked the same questions of your uh, guest adversary in this uh, few primaries. I asked the Senator Barack Obama these questions. Can you send Americans back to work? And is this idea I'm going to give you a good idea? You see, in our country, there's thousands of factories being closed down. And yes, this is true. Jobs are leaving and people are blaming a whole bunch of people, including you and your husband. Oh, your husband. These people are saying NAFTA costs jobs. Whatever. No one cares right now at this point. Miles, I I don't. So what I want to ask you is this. Is there any way, physically possible, for you to mobilize America's workforce? similar to what the United States did in the previous two world wars. Americans went to work putting together tanks, battleships, and whatever they could for America. And my proposal is this. We re-educate all Americans and we drop that dependency on, well, cold turkey. So you say, this is a big joke. No, it's not a joke. We have factories all throughout California and the rest of the United States being shut down for whatever reasons or whatever. I know for a fact that other countries ask us for foreign aid every day. But let's take this one step further. What if the next time someone asks us for foreign aid, for food, we send them food? Maybe the next time someone asks us for foreign aid for technology or to build their roads and cars we send people over to build their roads and build them cars with that philosophy is there any kind of way we can wage a war on our economy pretty much build cars in American factories in other words, instead of tanks and airplanes, we build computers and electric cars. Start a whole new green um, industry. The Amero car, made by Americans for the world. Or the American computer system, made by Americans for the world. What I'm trying to say is this, Senator. Is there any kind of way we can send people back to work, educate our children, and save ourselves from some new world order, some North American uh, union? Is anything I said to you logical? Is it feasible? Can it be done? I've asked Barack Obama the exact same question. And I'm going to look for a John McCain video and reply to that and try to ask him the exact same question. Right now, at this point, in a lot of Americans' lives, no matter what color they are, they're all suffering. The middle class, white, black, whatever, we're all suffering. And the problem with the basic politician is they appear to have more than the people in which they're asking the vote from. In other words, can I have your vote? Well, I can barely pay my mortgage, but I can honestly see that you don't have that problem. Not that you don't have a problem paying it. It's that you don't have a problem worrying about it. Um, in saying that, Senator, is there any kind of way you can save people's homes? frivolous loan lenders um, you know I never really talked directly to you candidates because I've been harsh on you and Barack for your actions not because you guys are battling out to the end it's because you're giving the bad guy an upper hand you know I can't really call John McCain a bad guy because he's a hero a veteran done all that great stuff for the country but 
you know, it's you guys versus him. But what it's coming down to is society thinks they got three different choices, but in actuality, they only got two. As one of my two choices, if you were to get that opportunity for me to vote for you, or, you know, make me not want to vote for him, could you promise to rebuild America from the inside out? Can you promise to send people to work building things just to get them off the street? I, you know, I hate to have to say this, but you can open up a bunch of damn t-shirt factories and send people to work making t-shirts. Well, I don't know what you can and what you can't do. I know what people think you're going to do. And I want you to prove them wrong if you get the opportunity. But, if you don't get the opportunity, I want you to know one thing, Senator. If you do watch my video, that you've been tubed. And now it's time for me to look for John McCain. Thank you. Bless you. And have a good night.